Captain's log, stardate 23418.4. I've just returned to the Enterprise from an Earl Grey Symposium on Darjeeling 9. Captain, we are being probed by a vessel on the starboard bow. Shields up and weapons ready, Mr. Wolf. Captain, they're hailing us. On screen. I'm Captain Jean-Luc Pascard of the USS Enterprise. I am Lord Darth Helmut, Supreme Commander of the Imperial Forces. Are you, by chance, the Flea Bear user? Sell a lot and prosper. Captain Piscard, I am most displeased. The second-hand transporter I purchased from you arrived without a user manual. He seems to be wheezing quite a lot. Beverly, is asthma a thing in the 24th century? I bloody heard that your microphone is not muted. Lord Helmut, I am sure we can resolve this peacefully. Let me dispatch a crew member to provide you with instructions. Mr. Database, please enlighten. Certainly, Captain. In Star Trek, the transporter is a device used to teleport people and objects instantaneously from one location to another. Here's a detailed explanation of how it works, according to the in-universe technology. Number one, scanning. The process begins with the transporter scanning the subject at a molecular level. This scan captures a precise map of every atom and its quantum state, effectively digitizing the physical and quantum data of the subject. Number two, dematerialization. Once scanned, the subject is dematerialized into an energy pattern. This process involves converting the subject's matter into energy, often referred to as a matter stream. The energy pattern is then held in the transporter buffer. Number three, transmission. The energy pattern containing all the information of the subject's matter is transmitted to the target location. This transmission can happen over vast distances, including between planets and ships in orbit. Number four, rematerialization. Upon reaching the destination, the energy pattern is converted back into matter. The transporter reconstructs the subject at the target location using the stored data to ensure that the reassembly is precise and accurate. Hopefully all your bits and pieces land where they should. No one wants an ear on their elbow. Key components of the transporter, emitter array. Think of this as the ultimate selfie stick. Taking a scan so detailed, it makes your Instagram filter look like finger painting. The pattern buffer. This is like the transporter's version of a waiting room, where your sparkly self lounges around sipping on quantum coffee until it's time to reappear. The Heisenberg compensators. This addresses the Heisenberg uncertainty principle, which states that it's impossible to know both the position and velocity of a particle precisely at the same time. The compensators allow for precise scanning and reassembly, making sure you don't come out with your head where your foot should be. They handle all the tricky quantum stuff so you can focus on not being late for your mission. Targeting scanners. These guys make sure you don't end up beaming into the middle of a wall or worse, your boss's ready room. Awkward. Limitations and risks. Interference. Just like how your Wi-Fi goes out when you really need it, space weather can mess with your beam up, leading to some seriously bad hair days. Range. While the transporter can zap you pretty far, it's not exactly designed for long-distance relationships. You might need a few booster stations unless you enjoy ending up on the wrong planet. Biological concerns. Some folks worry if they're the same person after beaming. But come on. Who wouldn't want a fresh start every now and then? Operational use. Transporters are mainly used for beaming down to strange new worlds or beaming up when things get oh, too strange. Two to beam up, Snotty. They're perfect for those moments when you need to escape a bad date or make a dramatic entrance. So in Star Trek, the transporter is your one-stop shop for instant travel fabulous sparkly transformations, and a bit of existential fun. Just remember to keep your hands and feet inside the energy stream at all times, unless you want to become part of a very interesting art exhibit. And that concludes 
our brief overview of the transporter. I hope that was satisfactory, Lord Helmut. I don't have time for your Starfleet Technobabble. I want a full refund, or I will find new ways to motivate you. This isn't over, Piscard. You have not heard the last of this. I have no alternative to bring down on you the full force of the Empire. So, I will be giving you negative customer feedback today. Helmet out. Subscribe!